Hey what's up guys it's Jonathan and welcome back to another video on the channel. After being cancelled on social media last year, Jang Jahan has been keeping a low profile but on January 16, 2020, a man named Jang Sang Ye opened a public WeChat account and published his first article to share the books and movies he has read and watched and this led to some people believing Jang Sang Ye is Jang Jahan. I personally think Jang Sang Ye is not Jang Jahan. On March 7th, 2020 at 1 p.m., Jang Sang Jae's public account suddenly posted a poster for a parent class on childhood attention deficit, hyperactivity order, and the post was later deleted after a minute or two. There were two watermarks on the bottom right beside Jang Sang Jae's. The other leads us to the public account of the doctor hosting the class called Dr. Lee Zahua. Dr. Lee is a pediatric psychiatrist based in Shenzhen Children's Hospital and looking through Dr. Lee's previous articles, we found he has reposted articles from another doctor named Jiang Pei Chao. After a brief search online, we found that Dr. Jiang and Dr. Lee is quite closely connected and they collaborated while training. Dr. Lee attended group training led by Dr. Jiang. This is a different China-American psychoanalytic alliance. They both graduated from Huan University and they are now working in Shenzhen. I must say Dr. Lee is a very interesting person. He's been quite active in the word of honor community and appears to be a big fan. He has written a couple of viral articles, one of which compares the different version of the script. I know what you're thinking right now. How did he get all the different scripts since they're not publicly available? Well, it turns out he used to hang out with Nada, word of honor script writer and Hao Jing Fong. The science fiction writer was inspired by word of honor to finish her book. Dr. Zhang is quite prolific in his public account and appears to manage it on his own. He doesn't list a management company. Besides the articles relating to his work, he also posts movie reviews, poetry, drinking tea, his kids and etc. Interestingly, Jiang sang article he published on the evening of February 11th said and I quote, A psychotherapist told me the strength of the truth is always far greater than the strength of perfection. So it turns out the psychotherapist is Dr. Jiang. And his article with this quote was published six hours after Jiang Sang Jie's article. Now, do you recall the ad for Dr. Lee's class that was accidentally posted by Jiang Sang Jie, which was later immediately deleted when he realized his mistake? I guess you've now seen how the pieces have started falling into place. Although Dr. Lee and Dr. Jiang have published movie reviews, the latter does so much more frequently. In one of Dr. Lee's movie reviews that he wrote, he mentioned the Truman Show with Jiang Sang Jie quoted. Dr. Lee is probably licensed to prescribe medication as a pediatric psychiatrist but affects is not meant to be used in children while Dr. Jiang as a psychotherapist probably is not. Jiang Sang Jie also tends to add art to senses. Only Beijing Nerus do that I thought. Jiang Jahan is a southerner and has not shown a tendency to use art before. So these are some of the reasons that has led me to believe that Jiang Sang Jie is not Jiang Jahan but everyone is entitled to their own opinion. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well and I'll see you guys in the next video.